Hi everybody, Joel from RC Max UK here. Hope you're doing very well. Now in this video, a common question that comes up and always has really since uh, I've been involved with RC is what is better or what what is the pros and cons of nitro versus electric? Now here you can see two Mugen MBX6s here. They're both mine. I've got one electric, which is this one, which is the Eco and one Nitro, which is this one, which is just the Mugen MBX6. Now, both these aren't totally up-to-date buggies. They're a good few years old now, but they're both very, very, very good. Nitro has its pros, and Electric has its pros, and they both also have their cons, in my opinion. And I don't think you can say that either is necessarily better than the other. And just really this footage here, just wanted to point out, I mean, just watching them, listening to them and looking at the cars which one looks more exciting to you now i think you'll agree that both cars are getting relatively the same amount of air off these jumps they look relatively the same kind of speed although it has got to be said obviously that the electric stuff you can definitely with 6s and an ape scale get more power now the the Eco here is running 4S, not 6S. 4S is plenty though, as I'm, as I'm sure you'll agree by looking at the car. One thing you do get, which is very different, is Nitro, and anything with an engine, you get a power band, whilst Electric is basically instant power, isn't it, at any kind of rev. Whilst a Nitro and a petrol engine, you'll get a power band, so you get a kind of feel, you get an increase in power, often as the revs build. Another big difference, of course, is the usability. Now, with electric being charge your LiPo, as long as you look after your LiPos, it's basically plug and play, of course, for as long as the LiPo lasts. Whilst the Nitro, you've got the Nitro fuel, and you've got the starting mechanism, whether that's pull start. I use a starter box, and that makes life so much easier. So bear that in mind, the starting, the ease of starting, the ease of use is different. And then you've got the dreaded tuning. The nitro tuning um, is something I've actually started to enjoy, but I'm well aware that it can be extremely frustrating if everything you try doesn't work. And then looking at the nitro here, this has not got a good tune, because I hadn't used it for about two years. And it's still getting plenty of air, plenty of power, and it could definitely have a bit more if it was tuned a bit better. So, you know, the one thing I, I definitely feel myself is that having an engine definitely increases the kind of fun factor gives you that little bit of enjoyment that little bit extra the smoke the sound and all that side of things and the feel as well that you get with a real engine compared to the fairly dull possibly lack of sound that you get now with the electric now don't get me wrong i love the electric buggy here this is probably my favorite well, it's one of my favourite electric cars, actually, because it's so good. It handles so well, it jumps so well, it's just brilliant. But I just wanted to kind of throw that out there. Don't give Nitro a miss. Don't brush it off and just say Nitro is no good, because maybe it's a little bit fiddly to use and start. If you've got the right equipment, you go about it methodically, and you learn a bit about the Nitro engines and how they work and the tune of them, you can definitely use them fairly easily. You might even find you enjoy it. Catch you in the next one, guys.